Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Pavel Elyanov and Ivan Sokolov. This very instructive game was played in Sarajevo, Bosnia in 2009. Pavel Elyanov had white pieces and he started with d4. Ivan Sokolov played d5, c4, the queen's gambit, c6, the slab defense, maybe, knight to f3, knight to f6, knight to c3, and now a6, the Chubanenko, slav, white to move, c5, e3, and a4, are the three most played moves. Pavel Elano played e3, b5, that was the idea behind a6, white to move, b3 is the most played move, Pavel Elano played c5, gaining the space on the board, black to move, g6, knight from b to d7 is an interesting line, and if white plays b4, then a5, back to our game, Sokolo played g6, which is the most played move, knight to e5, if something like bishop to d3, then black may play bishop to g4, back to our game, so we have knight to e5, preventing bishop to g4, bishop to g7, bishop to e2, Knight from f to d7, challenging the knight on e5. f4. Knight takes on e5. f takes on e5. And white has a space advantage, which Sokolov didn't like, so he attacked the pawn on e5. Pawn takes pawn on f6. Pawn takes pawn on f6. It is white to move. And this is very important moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? If white plays the most natural move, castling kingside, then f5 preventing e4. So in this position, Eliano played e4, sacrificing a pawn for the initiative. Black to move, if d takes on e4, knight takes on e4. So, Sokolo played b4, attacking the knight, which was supposed to recapture on e4. Knight to a4, d takes on e4, and the black is a pawn up. Knight to b6, attacking the rook. Rook to a7, white to move. How would you continue now? Elano played another very important move. Queen to b3, preventing castling. Black to move. Rook to e7. Let's take it back. If f5, then bishop to f4. And after rook to b7, bishop to c4. And white is standing much better. Back to our game. Sokolo played rook to e7 intending bishop to e6. Why to move? How would you continue now? Normally, you don't want to exchange a developed piece for opponent's undeveloped one, but this makes sense in this position. Knight takes bishop, which was supposed to go to e6. Queen takes knight, bishop to f4. Black is still a pawn up, but white has a very dangerous bishop pair. The game continued. f5, defending the pawn, on e4. White to move. How would you continue now? Eleno castled queenside, intending d5 at the right time. Knight to d7, bishop to d6, attacking the rook. And where is the rook going? Sokolo played knight to f6. Why to move? Most players would take the rook, do you agree? Instead of winning material, Elianov played bishop to c4. 
Rook to d7, saving the rook. It is white to move. And I find Elanov's next move very instructive. Anyway, what would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Elano played king to b1, placing the king on a safer spot before continuing with the attack. Black can't do much anyway. This is a calm before the storm. Queen to b7, queen to a4, queen to a8, g4. Well, bishop to e6 is also good. Eleanor played g4, sacrificing one more pawn. Well, the offer was not accepted. Knight to d5 was played. Let's take it back. If knight takes g4, then d5. And if pawn takes pawn on d5, then bishop takes on d5, and white is crashing through. Back to our game. Sokolo played knight to d5, trying to plug the hole. g takes on a5, g takes on a5, bishop takes on d5, the knight was well placed and a good defender. Pawn takes bishop, rook from h to f1, attacking the pawn on f5, and how to defend the pawn? King to d8, rook takes on f5. Rook to e8, queen takes on b4, white is in a better position, and a pawn up. Rook to e6, rook from d to f1, king to c8, it is white to move, and this is another very interesting moment. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Elano played rook to f8 check. Instead of winning the exchange earlier, he is now sacrificing the exchange. Bishop takes rook, rook takes bishop check, rook to d8, white to move. White played a move and black resigned. And the move is queen to b6. So Kolov resigned. The game can't be saved. Black can only delay the checkmate by playing rook takes on d6, then c takes on d6, threatening queen to c7 checkmate. If the king tries to escape, queen to c7 check, and after king to e6, white plays the obvious, and the obvious is queen to e7 check. Mate, what a brilliant and imaginative game by Pavel Elanov. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.